I thought I'd actually get round to doing a review of the Ultimate Survival Technologies floating lighter and this is basically a floating waterproof survival lighter and I found it to be very good however online I've seen a lot of negative reviews for it so I don't know how legitimate some of those are or whatever um, and many of them seem to be saying they had trouble igniting it but they were using it either above the altitude it tells you you know you can use it at or didn't have it set to maximum flame and with survival lighters and jet lighters you always want them set to maximum flame just because that's what they're designed to run at so I'll give you an honest impression about what I think the good features are about this and what could be improved um, one of the things to start with is the clamp that holds the waterproofing down the lid there you know, there's a bit of rubber on there and that rubber has split slightly and if all the rubber came off I don't know how well that would still keep sealed but um, for the most part at the moment that is alright and I don't know if that rubber is going to split easily but like the very far side there you can probably see has split a bit there but other than that it's fine so basically in here you've got your o-ring around there and there's the lighter itself, the lighter is all metal and this is removable from here with a bit of force that's how you refill it there we go so it seems very good fuel economy, I've got that set to the maximum flame height at the bottom there and the fuel economy seems pretty good um, it's hard to obviously see the amount of fluid in there I might have to give that a refill soon but I've had a fair bit of use from it and shouldn't really be doing that without it in the case but um, had a fair bit of use from it and it's not drained much fuel even set to maximum fuel amount so we'll pop it back in the case and you put the flame side towards the lid side there we go now it's lit and it has an LED on there and the reason for that is people saying why is there a light on a lighter is to show you the flames on because in windy sort of bright day conditions it's hard to see if you've actually got a flame or not so that light only ever comes on when the flame comes on if it fails to light the flame doesn't come through apart from that sort of bit at the start of the video I've never really had problems getting this to light it seems a bit more reliable lighting than a lot of other sort of jet lighters I've got and it's sort of a strong small flame which is a bit more wind resistant you know rather than having a um, sort of longer flame so it's basically designed for lighting campfires and things like that what you'd use a normal lighter for, for in a survival scenario but it's a jet lighter so it's more windproof it's hotter so it's easier to start a flame and or wind resistant I should say and it's got this survival case so the survival case basically when it's in this um, position if you drop it in water it will float on top of the water and no water will get in so you don't have to worry about water in your backpack or whatever stopping you from lighting it and drying it out and you can attach a lanyard just there if you wanted to with some paracord or something so you've got it like that and the reason it's good because it's floating is as well as being waterproof is if you think if you had a heavier lighter that wasn't a floating one and you dropped it in water and it sank you might not be able to find it whereas this as long as it's not a strong moving water current you'd be able to just fish it out from the top of the water so that's a good plus feature so overall I'm pretty impressed with this um, you need to use the proper butane with it uh, not the cheap butane sort of the triple or quadruple refined butane whatever they call it uh, but overall it's I'm very impressed with it so I don't really understand the negative reviews I mean maybe some people have had duff models but it seems a lot of people who just haven't used these properly from what I've been reading you know they've used it at stupidly high altitudes which it's not designed for or that they've you know not sealed it in properly and got it wet or they've not set it to maximum flame and then surprised when it doesn't light very easily but there we go from what I've seen this is a very very good survival lighter uh, the best one I own certainly in my collection and looking at a lot of others online some of the features on this are a lot better than some of the more expensive models simply because it floats which I don't think I've ever seen another lighter that does that most of them even if they're waterproof will sink which isn't that good um, but yeah Overall, I'm very impressed with the uh, Ultimate Survival Technologies lighter, and I can't understand why there are bad reviews for it. So, there you go.